If you've ever had a relationship with a severe avoidant or a narcissist, you might notice that this person's behavior is very immature and very childlike. It's almost like you're dealing with a grown child. Well, there are reasons for this. Severe avoidance and narcissists, well, they don't like to self-reflect. They just don't do it because self-reflection means taking accountability. Narcissists are pathologically averse to accountability. Avoidance, well, they avoid. And self-reflection is the opposite of avoiding. It is the polar opposite. Because when you self-reflect, you actually have to face your feelings, reflect on them, process your emotions, your fears, look within yourself and see what causes these feelings. Explore your old attachment wounds. Take accountability. See where you've gone right. See where you've gone wrong. Reflect on how your behavior has impacted others. That is scary stuff and severe avoidance don't want to do that because they've learned to avoid. They've learned to avoid their emotions, to suppress it, to bottle it up and run from their problems. The way they self-soothe when they feel anxiety is to just ignore their issues, to ignore their problems. So they don't self-reflect. And narcissists don't self-reflect for a lot of the same reasons, but largely because taking any kind of account accountability would shatter their persona, their false self that they present to the world. The result is a person that is emotionally stunted because your emotional age is considered to be the age that you were when you last self-reflected. So if you're dealing with a 40 year old adult, but they haven't self-reflected since they were 10 years old, you're dealing with a person who emotionally is still a 10 year old. So if you look at narcissistic behavior, if you look at severe avoidant behavior, it's very impulsive. They need immediate gratification, the constant need for validation, the constant need to get attention, the constant need to get rewards, the constant need to be catered to emotionally. This is the result of a person that has not grown up. A lot of the behavior is indeed very childlike. So in reality, you're dealing with Peter Pan somebody who never wanted to grow up, somebody who just didn't grow up. Yes, they're an adult. They may have a job. They're an adult body. But when it comes to their personal life, when it comes to their emotional life, this person is still a young child. So when you're talking and dealing with this person and you're getting frustrated because they're just not acting like a reasonable adult and their behavior is so immature, it's because they haven't self-reflected. It's because they haven't done the work to actually mature emotionally. You're dealing with an emotional child, a grown child. That perspective can really help people because when you understand that you are dealing with a child, you stop having the expectation that this person is suddenly going to be reasonable, that they're suddenly going to be mature, that they're suddenly going to handle things in an adult manner. Because when you have those expectations and, and this person doesn't self-reflect, you're going to be continuously disappointed over and over and over again, and maybe even blaming yourself for their behavior. And self-blame pushes yourself further into anxiety. It pushes yourself further into insecurity when you're taking the blame for somebody else's very immature behavior. So having expectations that this person is in fact going to behave like a child, it helps prevent you from the constant disappointment expecting this person to behave otherwise. Now, they can do the self-reflection that's required to change and heal. And even narcissists, to some degree, are able to do some work and learn to manage and regulate their behaviors. It's a choice, especially with avoidance. It is a choice. They could self-reflect and do the work. That's painful. It requires a lot of willpower, dedication, and usually a lot of help from a licensed psychotherapist. The person has to want it though. They actually have to want it badly enough to actually do the work. They have to be tired of the results and the situations that they are creating in their own lives and 
be tired of it enough to the point where they are willing to go against their programming and self-reflect, but it's up to them.